Well, the clock does say 6.30, basically, so we do have a quorum of four. So we'll go ahead and I'll call this meeting to order and ask for the roll call, please. Sure. Weibel? Berkson? Here. Harper? Petrie? Harper. Schrader? And Esri? Here. And I'll just make note, I know Stan's not, Harper's not going to be here. John Schrader said that he's supposed to be here. He's probably, hopefully, just running a few minutes late. Okay, we will move on then to item number three, approval of agenda and addenda. Is there any? Moved by Astrid, seconded by Sam. Is there any additions or corrections? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye, aye all opposed nay. Thank you, that passes. Public participation does not look like there's anybody here for, oh, right past the minutes, I'm sorry, skip that again. My fault, give a few minutes for someone else to come on in then maybe. Um, approval of minutes for the ELEC committee meeting, April 9th, 2015. Moved by Astrid, seconded by Sam. <laughs> uh, is there any additions or corrections to be made to those? And seeing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Okay, that passes. Thank you. And Mr. Weibel, good to see you. Uh, move on then to public participation, correct in the correct order. And I don't see anybody, so we'll move right on to communications. Are there any communications? Do not see any communications. We will move on to line item seven, items for information only. A, update regarding local government coalition to protect Muhammad Aquifer, and I believe Susan is gonna maybe speak on that. Okay. Okay. Or, okay, are there any Questions or comments for on the coalition? It's basically my understanding that I guess the idea is we want to kind of the lawsuits are going to continue. The idea being to get something in legal terms, statutes, however you want to put it, so that okay they've withdrawn their they said they say they aren't going to do it now, but what's to keep a different company from coming in or even them later on changing their, changing their minds exactly. So, okay then, move to the, oh, go ahead, Sam, sorry. Uh, Susan, do we have any information on how this uh, interacts with the legislation that's coming through uh, the House and the Senate? Yes, well, what is it, House Bill 1326 just passed the first reading at the Senate and it's lined up for the second reading. Everything's moving through. But as you read this update, you'll see that's no guarantee of anything. Okay, any other questions? Okay, we'll skip over then to 7B on the addendum. Um, item B, 7B. Recreation and Entertainment License, Rodeo Club at the University of Illinois for a rodeo at the Champaign County Fairgrounds, 1302 North Kohler Avenue, Urbana to be held May. It says June on here, but it was held May 2nd, 2015. I move to approve, granting of that license. Do, well, this, the, go ahead, it, John. Yeah, it was May 2nd. Um, we must have gotten that. Um, a typo there, but it was May 2nd. It was heavily advertised and the reason it's on information only is that if if the committee wants to approve this retrospectively, you could you could make that motion, uh, but I really wanted to include it to give the committee a chance to determine whether you'd like to amend, like us to look at an amendment for the r &E ordinance to deal with situations like this. Did they pay the money? Yes. I'm happy. And, and the next time? <laughs> well, why didn't we see it before? Because you didn't, it was not submitted in time. 28th of April. Oh, wow. 
I don't. I, I think you could get in an awful lot of trouble that you didn't put a seal on it. Well, the RNE ordinance doesn't authorize us to do anything. Uh, if things, it, let's say, an event kept occurring like that, we could pursue it under the zoning ordinance. But I'd sort of have a hard time pursuing it if the committee decided they didn't really want to do anything about it. So I'd like some direction from the committee. And it doesn't have to be tonight. We could have this on a, the agenda next month, the, the topic, just to give you time to think about it. But uh, I think all of us involved in the day-to-day -day processing of these things would, would really like to have some guidance about what to do when someone submits late. John, I look forward to hearing your ideas in a future me meeting about this problem. <laughs> Thank you. I'll just state I was made aware of it. Um, it was talked about maybe the liquor, the Champaign County Fairground liquor license maybe covering it, but it, an event like this, but it did, didn't. Um, it is kind of one of those catch-22 right now. I mean, how do you say no when it doesn't necessarily our ordinances speak to it, so um, any other comments or questions on this one at this point in time? Okay, we'll move on then to line eight, items to be approved by ELEC committee. <coughs> Excuse me. We have A, recreation and entertainment license, Eastern Abate Incorporated for live bands, Rolling Hills Campground, 3151A, County Road 2800 East, Penfield, for June 5th through 7th, 2015. Is there a motion to approve? Moved by Astrid. Second. Seconded by Sam. Is there any comments on this? Questions? Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Okay, that passes. Uh, move on to B then. Re Recreation and entertainment license. Maria Guadalupe Flores Rojas for Mexican rodeo DJ band dancing at the Champaign County Fair Association Fairgrounds, 1302 North Color Avenue, Urbana, Illinois, May 9th, 2015, with a note that the date has actually been changed to June 27th, everything else remains the same in their permit. So with, I guess, that correction to June 27th from in the actual permit, as opposed to what is on our agenda, is there such a motion? Moved by Mr. Weibel, seconded by Astrid. Mr. Weibel. Mr. Hall, is this uh, first time? Thank you very yes. Any other comments or questions? Okay, seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. Okay, that passes. Thank you. Uh, move on then to C, Recreation and Entertainment License. Champaign County Fair, Champaign County Fair Grounds, 1302 North Color Avenue, Urbana, for annual license. Is there such a motion? Moved by Astrid, seconded by Mr. Weibel, Pius. Any comments or questions on this one? Now, John, I will say this is more the comprehensive one, or has they always been this comprehensive? They've never actually stated it's an annual license before, and so they have this time. But it, it, the annual license is really only good for things that are being held by the Fair Association. Uh, all of these events that happen through another organization at the fairgrounds, they will all still need their own licenses. Okay. Yes, Patsy. Okay, uh, so then what's the check and balance to be certain that what occurs at the fair falls under what license? Well, um, when they have the fair, you know, they do all the events at the fair under the fair license. So anything else there needs a, an area. Okay, yeah. got it. Except, for example, the Humane Society is having their garage sale coming up soon, and that type of activity doesn't need an R&E license at all. Okay, any, 
excuse me, turned it off. Any other comments or questions? And seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. Okay, that passes. Thank you. Move on to section nine, items to be recommended to the county board. 9A. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, go to the addendum. Got to get the right. Okay, that's right. I'm, I'm skipping past the addendum. My fault. Section 8, item D. We'll go back to section 8. Items to be approved by ELEC committee still. D, amending the RPC fiscal, fiscal year 2015 county planning contract to allocate 60 hours per year from the general planning services item to Champaign County area rural transportation system, C carts and the Champaign County Rural Transit Advisory Group, RTAG, for the coordination. Moved by Sam, seconded by Astrid. Comments, questions, we have Rita here. I see. Ms. Petrie. Um, uh, the way this was explained to me is that uh, since C-Cards is fairly new, there's kind of a lag of getting grants in for grant money so do you see this as just a one-time uh, situation or due to uh, this verity of grants lately this might occur more than this one time well there are several situations one is um, probably we are going to get some cuts from the governor and if we get some cuts from the governor we are looking for ways to make up that uh, cut that is going to happen <clears throat> if it happens. If we don't get cut from the governors anyway, we uh, will be getting a more new vehicles this year. Then we will need to have more funding and a way <coughs> of using all the funding that is allocated to us by the state is to provide more local match. We didn't know that the time that I spend working on this project or any staff time spent on this project can be counted as local match. Then a way of the county, and has to be provided by the county, a way of the county providing for the local match is through the planning contract because there are some hours there that uh, were not allocated to any specific project. I cannot guarantee you that it's one time, but it would be great if we can pull down more state funds to provide the service. Thanks. Any other questions, comments? Okay, seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Okay, that passes. Now then, with no more addendums, hopefully I can stay on track. <laughs> now then, section nine, items to be recommended to the county board. A, a resolution adopting authority to prevent water pollution caused by erosion and sedimentation. Is there such a motion? Moved by Astrid, seconded by Sam. <laughs> Comments, questions from Anyone on the committee or, John, do you, I mean, other than what's in the paper, do you have anything you want to say? It's up to you. No, just to uh, confirm for, for the committee that this has been reviewed by the state's attorney and it's passed their review. So, um, I, you know, I think it's, it's solid and ready to go to the full board. Okay. Seeing no other questions, comments, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. Okay, that passes. Uh, on to B, case 769-AT-13, amend the Champaign County Zoning Ordinance by amending the Champaign County Stormwater Management Policy by changing the name to Stormwater Management and Erosion Control Ordinance and amending the reference in Zoning Ordinance Section 4.3.10 
and amend the stormwater management and erosion control ordinance to add erosion and sedimentation controls to meet the requirements of the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, MPDES, Municipal Storm Separate Storm Sewer System, MS4 storm, Stormwater Discharge Permit with the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency, IEPA, and make other changes and add other requirements related to erosion and sedimentation control as described in the legal advertisement. Move. Moved by Mr. Weibel, seconded by Ms. Berkson. Comments, questions, or, or John, looks like you have. Yeah, I, I wanna make sure the committee is aware that uh, we will get a conditional protest from the city of Urbana. They have asked for, uh, the on page 45 of the agenda, you'll see there's an attachment A, subparagraph B. They have asked for that to be added now, in fact, most of subparagraph B is in our existing policy and, in fact, should really have been included here. This is a bit of confusion on staff's part when we wrote it. The only new thing that the city really is asking for, you'll see it in double underlining the phrase, or other developments that are, and uh, it is possible that we could have other developments that should be subject to municipal standards that our current language doesn't deal with. So I think this is a good change. I don't think it harms, uh, well, to the extent that it's consistent with state law regarding municipal jurisdiction, it doesn't harm anybody, it just carries out those rules. In paragraph C, you'll see there's another line in shading. That's another part of our existing policy that we should have included here, but um, just, by the time we did the review for this very large amendment, we, we missed those few two things. So I would hope the committee would not have any problem with this. Any comments, questions on the, Ms. Berkson, microphone, please just, for those maybe listening at home. What else could increase mean, except relative to the current impervious area? Um, the, well, the important thing with that one is that if you did additions prior to that date, um, they would not be subject to the regulations. On that date, the stormwater management policy became uh, <coughs> relevant to everything, <coughs> and so that's why it's important. Um, I don't understand, I'm sorry. Okay, I thought your question was mainly about paragraph C. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I mean, it, it says increase of 10,000 relative, and then you want to add relative to the current impervious area. But they, that, what else can it be a, an, except an increase? I mean, I don't well, see what the relative comes in. Uh, actually, we see things all the time that didn't get approved when they happened. That, that happened a long time ago. And the point is that this only happens to changes that happened after February 20th, 2003. We're not gonna go back after, before that date and make it apply. Yeah, but that, again, when you say an increase to the existing on a certain date, you, you the relative, I don't see where the relative to existing, I don't understand where that, how, how that becomes relevant. I, I see your point and technically that's correct. Um, as the zoning administrator, I would really like to see this the way it's proposed here. That way, there's no argument in the office. Um, but, but you're right. I see your point. You, you are right. Uh, this is the way it's written currently. And had I to do over again, it would have been this way from the start. Other comments, questions? Do not see anybody looking to ask anything. So if not, ready to vote, I assume. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, please say nay. Nay. No one nay from Ms. Petrie, and that is fine, so that will not go on consent. Uh, we have then, move on to C. Case 773-AT-14, 
amend the Champaign County Stormwater Management and Erosion Control Ordinance that is the subject of a separate zoning case, 769-AT-13, by adding a requirement for a grading and demolition permit for any grading or demolition that disturbs one acre or more of land or for any grading or demolition that is part of a larger common plan of development in which one acre or more of land disturbance will occur and that is not related to any proposed construction and add fees for grading and demolition permits and other requirements related to grading and demolition permits as is described in the legal advertisement. There's such a motion. Moved by Mr. Weibel, seconded by Ms. Berkson. Comments, questions, go ahead, Ms. Berkson. Does anyone explain this to me? Go ahead. Um, <laughs> line by line. <laughs> well, um, essentially, K769 was supposed to deal with erosion control completely. But after we got direction from the committee and wrote the legal advertisement, we realized that we left a hole in the regulatory framework. Grading and demolition within the MS4 area required a land disturbance erosion control permit, but outside of that MS4 area, we had not proposed any grading or demolition requirements relative to land disturbance, which meant that there was literally a hole in that framework. Uh, this happened at the public hearing at the zoning board. I, I didn't have time to ask ELUC if they wanted to add that. So I went ahead and added this as a separate case simply because uh, it costs less than half as much to run this legal ad as it would have been to rerun case 769. So it was a cheaper way to have this come to the zoning bo county board with a full regulatory framework, no holes, and um, then to see how it would pass. And so um, the ZBA recommended approval. The committee supported their recommendation at the last meeting. I hope you'll support it again tonight. Other comments or questions? And seeing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. Nay. Okay, that will not go on consent either. Oh, go ahead, John. And I would just like to uh, point out that um, we did not get a township protest on case 769 or 773. And um, during the public hearing, it, it looked like we probably would. So I take that as a good sign. Uh, Nobody thought that this was egregious enough that they should protest. It doesn't mean that they were entirely in agreement. I know that. But I was somewhat relieved that we didn't get any protests. Yeah, go ahead, Susan. Uh, I doubt that the county board would reject a protest at this point, but we are past the statutory deadline. But I... I believe the county board would always be interested if they get a protest. So we'll see what happens. But at least at this point, we're not expecting any. Okay, move on to 9D then. Annual facility inspection report for the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System, MPDES, Municipal Separate Storm Sewer System, MS4, Stormwater Discharge Permit with the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency, IEPA, for the period April 1st, 2014, through March 31st, 2015. Moved by Mr. Schrader, seconded by Mr. Weibel. Any comments on this or questions? Mr. Weibel. Well, or, go, go ahead. Go ahead, Ms. Berkson. It's recommending approval of this to the county board so that we can get their approval to send to IEPA. Okay. All right. Uh, may I continue? Yeah, go ahead. I just want to acknowledge, I think that clearly John and Susan put a lot of time into this whole process. I mean, anytime you deal with rules in the EPA, whether it's state or federal, it's 
very time consuming and because you're dealing with a lot of complicated language and a lot of complicated ideas too. So and I think forms. Pardon? <laughs> Rigid formats. <laughs> so I like to acknowledge the, the effort that I think you, you two did uh, put a lot of effort into it and, and we have a, 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 something good came out of it too also. I guess I just have a quick question. This is what we were kind of behind on, but are we now, you could say, caught up? We'll be caught up when we get this to the EPA before June 1. Okay, so then we are caught up, but then we just have to keep moving forward, you could say, with every year, subsequent. Every year there'll be yeah. an annual update, and there's been a lot of things in the annual update that have been dependent upon getting the new ordinance in place. And so my hope is that next year the annual update will show several more things being accomplished. Okay, thank you, John. Other comments, questions? And if not, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Okay. Uh, move on then to 10 monthly reports, which we will accept and place on file. Are there any questions, comments about them, though? Ms. Petrie? Just good to see no prime farmland has been converted. And if no other comments, questions, we will move on then to other business, which I don't know of any. Mr. Weibel? Uh, our property uh, oh. that we discussed at Carroll subdivision, did we get a fence up or can you have an update on that if there's anything? That, there is a fence up and um, we had a preliminary injunction hearing on the, the court case. Um, that court case has been set on July 23rd, and uh, Jamie and I are now writing a, um, a request for quotation so that we can hopefully come to the Finance Committee in June with a solid um, proposal for demolition. Good question. I had forgot about that. I kind of asked for a little bit of an update at the planning meeting. Uh, any other, other business? And then move on to chair's report, which I don't have anything other than good to see everyone on such a nice evening, taking their time out from whatever else they could have been doing. Um, move on then to designation of items to be placed on consent agenda. That should just be 9A and 9D. Those are the two that passed unanimously. Um, is there a motion to adjourn? <laughs> I assume we're ready to move my best Burks and <laughs> seconded by Mr. Shore. All in favor? Aye. We're adjourned. <laughs> Thank you.